Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. In a previous video about La Potato EMMC versus SD card performance, I got this question here. Can an EMMC version play 1080p YouTube video without lagging? And someone else actually chimed in before I got a chance to test it out. So two people want to know the answer to this question. Now, I do read your comments, and oftentimes comments and questions become video material for me. Okay, so here I'm using the Wi-Fi dongle on La Potato. I'm getting about 10 megabits per second. Uh, I'm not in a very good spot for Wi-Fi. So the 720p video is just fine. You'll see here I'm going to go click in to quality. Yeah, it let me run at 720. I'm going to go ahead and set it up to 1080p. Oh, that's interesting. I got a pop-up video streaming quality, and I clicked on that. And it shows you the best times for streaming video during the day. Yeah, I'm pulling that back to the beginning. Yeah, this is my Colossal Cave video. I shot that in 4K using a 360-degree camera. Might want to check that out. Yeah, but you can see here at 1080p, we're buffering like every five seconds. You see that wheel spin. We go a little further. Buffer. And again, like I say, that's on the Wi-Fi at 10 megabits per second, so. But you'll see here it plays just fine on 720p. Not a skip. Okay, so I switched from Wi-Fi to Ethernet. Let's see what our internet speed is. I gotta redo my back-end network. Yeah, 80 megabits per second. Yeah, my whole back-end network's just 100 megabits per second now. I, I want that 1,000 megabits per second. <laughs> so 70's your download speed, 75 upload speed. It auto-detected at 360. Switch to 1080p. And we're going to see it's buffering still. Now I get to thinking, I want to try a different browser. We'll try Firefox. And I'm also just, I, I, I really tend to think that the problem's with the browser. Let's see. Yeah, so here on my... Raspberry Pi powered open media vault uh, server. I've got all of my YouTube videos up there. This is a 1080p video. And you see this is playing just fine in VLC media player. Yeah, so it's really more of the browser really than it is the hardware or the operating system that's slowing us down here. Yeah, you can see that is a 1080p video and there's no skipping. So it's really just the browser and YouTube that's causing this lagging on 1080p playback performance. Yeah, I loaded Firefox and it wouldn't even let me pick 1080p. It only gave me 720p as an option. Now, like I said, I wanted to try a different browser after seeing that the video played just fine off of the network. Okay, so it doesn't seem fair, but I'm going to go ahead and let's compare the performance of the Raspberry Pi 4B against the La Potato. I, I still think the Raspberry Pi 4B is a, a bit more robust than La Potato, but you can't get Raspberry Pi 4s right now. You can get La Potato for 35 bucks on Amazon, so yeah, look for the link down below. So for most of your uses, I'm sure like a dedicated media center uh, build on the La Potato would probably have better performance than playing YouTube in the browser. I'm going to see if I can find a media center that I can put on La Potato. Yeah, so here's the Raspberry Pi 4B. Kick that up to 1080p. It does buffer twice within the first 10 seconds. But then after that, I let it play, and it never buffered again after that. Like I say, it might be an unfair comparison, Raspberry Pi 4B against the La Potato. 
but again at half the price and you can't buy the other one uh, you might want to check out La Potato just the same. All right leave your comments down below because I might answer your questions. Go ahead and give this video a like and before you go watch more of my La Potato content please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.